Which computer components are we talking about here that are most affected by these price increases? The source of this is um, really the large AI data centers um, around the world and in the United States, all racing to build the biggest supercomputers for AI serving that, that they can. They need a lot of RAM memory, so they're basically bidding up the price at the factory. They're not necessarily buying the same thing that you and I would buy, for example, but you can't really blame the, the, the manufacturers for uh, pivoting what they're building to the higher price. Instead of prioritizing the smaller ones that me, we might want to buy for our own devices, they're prioritizing these large orders for these d data centers? Exactly, yeah. because uh, the, the monetary pressure to do that, they're just, quite frankly, paying more. Yeah, and just how much RAM would an AI data center need? It's one of those numbers that would be really hard to conceive when you have a component that's, you, you know, at the beginning of the month, $100, and then at the end of the month, $250. It, it definitely raises some eyebrows and, and perks some questions. So that's how much of a jump that you're seeing? Oh, easily, yes. How is that affecting your business at Beacom then? When you put, a, put an order in for a component, um, oftentimes, you know, you agree to a price and then you wait for that to component to come in. Um, but with the, the shortage, um, what's happening is we, we will place an order with the manufacturer. It gets to the end of the week. If they could not get to that order, then they just cut everything off and better luck next week, you know, do it again and, and the price is higher. As any time, you know, shop around. Um, one one place might have some stock at that they got at a lower price than another place, et cetera. Um, other than that, um, if if it's something that uh, that you don't absolutely need, then maybe put it off or uh, um, it, or be ready to um, open the wallet.